From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. South Dakota senators will begin hearing evidence for the impeachment of Attorney General Jason Roundsburg, whose account of a fatal 2020 traffic accident led criminal investigators, some lawmakers, and the victim's family to question his truthfulness. The South Dakota Senate is starting the two-day impeachment trial today. Roundsburg struck and killed a pedestrian, but initially said he may have struck a deer or a large animal and didn't know otherwise until he returned to the scene the next day. The Republican-controlled Senate will hear from impeachment prosecutors, defense attorneys, crash investigators, and former members of Roundsburg's staff as lawmakers decide whether to remove the Republican Attorney General from office. A body was found in Rapid Creek yesterday. Amy Rose has the details. Rapid City Police say an adult male was found dead in Rapid Creek on Monday afternoon. The Rapid City Police Department and the Rapid City Fire Department responded to a report of an unconscious person in Rapid Creek at approximately 2.30 p.m. Monday near North Maple Avenue in Omaha Street. After Rapid City Police Department and the Rapid City Fire Department arrived at the scene, they discovered the person was dead and called in the Rapid City Pennington County Water Rescue Team to retrieve the body. Authorities are investigating, but police say they there does not appear to be any signs of foul play. A 62-year-old Sturgis man was hurt in a motorcycle crash on Monday. The Highway Patrol says the driver was headed down I-90, exit 32 off-ramp into Sturgis, when he lost control. The man laid down his motorcycle, which hit a directional sign. He received serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Weather conditions are being investigated as a possible factor. In national and international news, Nobel Peace Laureate Dmitry Meritov says he was not expecting the medal he was auctioning off to help Ukrainian child refugees to sell for the record amount of $103.5 million. Bidding in the auction ended in New York on Monday, which is World Refugee Day. The sale shatters the old $4.76 million record for a Nobel. The identity of the buyer isn't immediately known. Muratov was awarded the medal in October 2021. He helped found the independent Russian newspaper Novaya Gazeta and was the publication's editor-in-chief when it was shut down in March amid a Kremlin clampdown after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The first Native American U.S. treasurer has been nominated by President Biden. Amy Rose has more. A Native American has been nominated to be U.S. treasurer, a historic first. President Joe Biden's nomination of Marilyn Miller becomes as his administration establishes an Office of Tribal and Native Affairs at the Treasury Department. The Treasurer's duties include oversight of the U.S. Mint, and the Treasurer's signature appears on U.S. currency. Malerba is the lifetime chief of the Mohegan Indian Tribe, located in Uncasville, Connecticut. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says Malerba will help further efforts to support the development of tribal economies. Yellen is set to visit the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Dakota on Tuesday, the first time a Treasury Secretary has visited a tribal nation. Documents examined by the Austin American Statesman newspaper and KVUE-TV show armed police officers stood in a Uvalde Elementary School hallway with at least one ballistic shield within 19 minutes of a gunman arriving at the school where he killed 21 people, 19 of them children. The outlet's report, which did not indicate the source of the documents, nevertheless intensifies the anguish and questions over why police didn't act sooner to stop the May 24 slaughter in the Robb Elementary School classroom. The outlets reported that gunfire could be heard for as long as 29 minutes before the officers entered the classroom and killed the gunman. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Sunny and nice for the first day of summer with a high of 78, low tonight 54. And that was your Daily Slice for Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.